Okay, uh, so now let us understand various components of Power BI. So first of all, Power BI, as I said, is a collection of software services, apps, and the connectors which will work together so that uh, your unrelated data or unrelated sources of data, then it will make into a visually impressive reports for your uh, business insights. Now, the data source can be uh, simple like an Excel spreadsheet or it can be a cloud-based solution like let's say you have data in SharePoint or OneDrive and or any other, in fact, any other cloud services uh, or maybe uh, your data source uh, can be uh, on-premises uh, environment. So your data is in, in on-premises on hybrid data source or somewhere. Now Power BI, what it will do is it will easily connect to all these data sources and uh, then visualize the data and then uh, discover what is important and what is not. And you can share this um, important reports or the dashboards with anyone in your organization or, uh, or for that matter with whom you want to share. Now, these are the components of Power BI. So first of all is the Power BI desktop. So this is a desktop application where you can install in, in your local system, which you can install in your local system. And then you can use this uh, to create your reports or you can share uh, uh, the report or consume uh, your business insights on that. Now the other one is the Power BI service. So Power BI service is a SaaS uh, based software as a service as best service. We'll, we'll go through uh, these two uh, Power BI desktop and Power BI service in the future videos. Uh, so I'm not discussing more on that. But now uh, the Power BI mobile apps is the apps which are available for your Windows, iOS or Android devices. And then the last one is the Power BI report server, uh, which is actually allow uh, you to publish your reports to an on-premises report server. So if you look at this, your Power BI desktop, Power BI service and the Power BI mobile apps, these are designed to create, share and consume your business insights. But the, uh, but the report server actually allows you to publish your Power BI reports to a on-premises report server. So uh, after once you create those uh, reports with Power BI desktop, then you can actually publish it into the on-premises report server. Why it is required? Because a lot of organizations, they are not ready to either move the reports to the cloud or they want to keep it in, in their environment, in their uh, uh, you know, corporate firewall. Uh, firewall. Uh, so you need your project, uh, sorry, Power BI report server. Uh, so where you can deploy behind your firewall and uh, then you can uh, have your uh, reports um, uh, which you can view in a web browser or, or any mobile devices or in email or wherever. So and most importantly this Power BI uh, report server is compatible with the Power BI in the cloud. So in the future if you want to actually migrate or you want to move to the cloud then you can move it without any problem. So, uh, so these are the components basically of uh, Power BI. So in the next video, we will discuss about various roles um, you can have in Power BI before going to desktop or Power BI services.